Hey y'all. I'm Marche, and today's makeup look is gonna give bronze, glowy, goddess, all of those words. Let's get into it. You wanna conceal and set your eyelids for shadow prep. I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I love covering my brows with this concealer because it's full coverage and gives a really sharp and even canvas. I'm doing my eyes first this time, strictly opinion based. There is no rhyme or reason. I just want to. <laughs> I'm setting my eyes with the Huda Beauty setting powder, the same powder I'm going to set my under eye with later on. I like this powder because it truly embodies what a setting powder should be. Like, she is the standard. Boom, we did one eye off camera. It's giving a little halo moment. And now we're gonna do one together. So taking your Nuditude palette, first go in with full disclosure. Full disclosure, I love this palette. And you're gonna get a good amount on your brush, dust off the excess, and then you're going to place that on the outer corner of the eye in a stamping motion, and then the inner corner. And you're gonna meet them in your crease. This palette is super pigmented, as you can tell. Like, that's all I need. Then we're going in with Oh So Nude. And in the palette, it doesn't look that brown. And you're gonna blend out the edges. This is also the longest part of the look, so just take your time, be patient, and blend, blend, and blend again. While blending, be sure to leave the center of your lid empty. That's where we're going in with our gold bronze shade. Also a little glitter. So you don't wanna put any shadow on that part. Once you've finally blended out, oh so nude, you're gonna go into the lightest brown shade in the palette called Birthday Suit, okay. And you're going to blend out the edges even more. Now taking a mix of Exposed, Always Trending, and Mirror Check. Three shimmery shades, you're going to place that on the eyelid. With a halo eye, you wanna be strategic in where you place your shimmery or pop of color. And in a halo eye, it's the center of the lid, that spot we left blank. Leaving the eyes alone for a second, we're gonna go ahead and finish our base. Taking our one size primer, I love this primer because it truly makes your makeup last all day. Every time I wear this primer, I know that my makeup, she's stuck. She's not moving, she's not going anywhere, she's not fading. She's going to look as flawless as when I first applied. Because this is a glowy makeup look, we're gonna go in with the Clio Glow Stick Illuminator by Clover. We're gonna put the Clover stick on all the high points of our face. Then taking our foundation brush, we're gonna go in and stipple our foundation right over it. I like the Givenchy Prism Libre foundation because it really gives a flawless skin-like finish, which is usually what I look for in a foundation. That's my go-to, that's my jam. I want foundations that are gonna give me coverage and my skin, but like better. Having put that Clover Illuminating Stick under our foundation, it gives us a absolute gorgeous glow from within. Love it. Taking our concealer in the corner of our eye and our outer corner to give us a lifting effect. Blending out my concealer with a brush is by far one of my favorite makeup tips. It lets the coverage stay there without soaking up any extra product, and I feel like you have a lot more control about where your concealer is actually going. If you wanna amp the coverage of your concealer up even more, let it dry down a bit before blending it out. Taking my concealer up along the sides of my nose also gives me a slight nose contour because sometimes your nose can kind of get lost in your face with all the foundation and other products. And just to show you that putting that illuminating stick under our foundation, you might think with all these full coverage products that glow has disappeared, that glow is still very much pushing through. I love it! Putting concealer on your forehead and your chin just balances out the light that you're adding back into your face. Sometimes if your concealer becomes a little too much, you can take your foundation brush to blend out the edges. Now taking our Huda Beauty Cream Bronzer, we're gonna bring that warmth back into our face. When it comes to cream products, you really wanna build it up. Less is more because you cannot take product away, but you can always add more. If you ever go too crazy with your cream bronzer, you can take your foundation brush to diffuse the edges ever so slightly, but remember, less is more, and you really wanna focus on building that product up instead of coming in hot with too much. 
problem solved. Now to bring the warmth back into our face, we're taking our Hoola bronzer in toasted and we're gonna warm our face back up. Everywhere you put cream bronzer, you wanna go in with your powder bronzer. Now it's time to set our under eye. Before you set your under eye, you really wanna make sure you have no creases. So you wanna go back in, blend your concealer out one last time and then use a powder puff and set your under eye. I love the Huda Beauty setting powder because it truly gives you a flawless under eye. I like to press in my setting powder to really give it a more flawless finish. Chef's kiss. We're gonna do the lower lash line, mirroring what we did on the top. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom, keeping with the halo effect. So we went in with full disclosure on the outer and the inner. Then we're going to take also nude and birthday suit to blend those edges out. And we're going to put the shimmer shades in the middle, just like we did on the top. We're gonna to do exactly the same thing on the bottom. Now this eye look is already fire, but of course I'm gonna take it up a notch. So we're gonna take our Glitter Glitter Liner in Sugar Bomb and apply that to the center of our eye on the top and the bottom. I love Glitter Liner because it's almost like applying glitter without all the fallout and without glitter glue. So it's a lot less messy, it's quick, and it gives you the same pop and wow effect. All you have to do is let the Glitter Liner dry and tell me that that's not amazing. I'm obsessed. Now that the eyes are finished, we're going to go in with our clover stick and apply a little bit of the highlighter using our fingers to the exact same places we used it in the beginning. Using the warmth from your fingers, just tap it on the high points. Gorgeous. Going in with our Makeup by Mario Jeff Lip Liner, we are going to line our lips. I like to overline my Cupid's bow just to make my lips look a little more round. That is just a personal preference, but it's a really good tip. Going in with our lipstick, we're gonna fill our lips in. After applying your lipstick, you can go back in with your lip liner to blend the two colors together. And I feel as though this makeup look deserves a super matte lip. So taking a little bit of my Huda Beauty powder, I'm gonna press that onto my lips to take away some of the shine. Matte perfection. And this is the completed makeup look. I'm obsessed between the illuminating stick, the glitter liner, and the Nuditu palette, all hits, no misses. Like, get into the glitter. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look as much as I did. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.